And uh, secondly, may I show you so far what has been crafted? Sure. Let me go back, since we're recording, let me go back and, and, and restate again what I just stated just for the record so that the record will reflect uh, what we stated thus far. Once again, uh, with, with habeas corpus, it's not just a body, it's a living body. She is a living body. She is a living body. But it's a habeas corpus actually should be titled a living habeas capitis, which is the head, and corpus, which is the body, because our head is not separated from our body, and our body and our head are one, and we don't have a freaking tail. So uh, the habeas capitis corpus is, is the living habeas capitis corpus is uh, is the is the title of the document and capitus is the same way that we state it when we do our court actions. C A P I T U S or you can say K A P I T U S. And so with the living habeas capitus and corpus, uh, it is also like Empress Angel stated, uh, an aliyah. Alia habeas capitis, a living alia habeas capitis corpus. And when you do that, uh, I, I just I specifically remember the 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 very first time I did an alia, uh, the empress that I that that were that I assisted with that alia, they actually specifically acted like they could not see her anymore. She came and they said. We can't see her. We, they could not see her. And they put an ad in the paper stating that they captured their corpse, which, was, which had a, a, a dead letter homonym. And she called me and, and said, go online and look and see. You'll see where they said that they have me in jail, but I'm not in jail. I said, that's not you. That's, that's a dead letter homonym. And so the quash homonym uh, document should go with the the living alia habeas uh, capitis and corpus, and it should be a mandamus quo warranto uh, mitimus, like we put at the top of our our document restitution mitimus. You say it was a mandamus quo warranto. Mandamus quo warranto uh, restitution mitimus which is what we put at the top of our court actions and our document when we do when we when we're having congress. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, I'll go ahead and put that on the screen uh while we're here. Okay. Okay. And thank you all for 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 st standing and and doing what is necessary. And again, what she says will will match what we state. What she states will match what we state. And when that happens, she cannot be held. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. So let me uh, share my screen here just really quickly. Just a moment. And 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 also just please keep in mind that when we send these things we send them they state the truth it is she will actually be freeing herself when she's as as we're all in agreement with her because ultimately it is up to her to stand uh a lot of times those things are done as a a matter of fear of a fear factor Mm -hmm. And she but knows we're coming for her too. She knows. she knows that, so all she has to do, she's actually gonna, she's gonna set herself free. We're mm -hmm. just agreeing with her. And see, here's the thing about agreement: where two or three witnesses agree, every word is established. So it's not like we're coming to the rescue of a sovereign because she's sovereign. We can't rescue her. Mm -hmm. Her standing will rescue herself because she's that powerful. 
Mm-hmm. And she knows that. She knows that, and, and we know that too. Uh, we're not saying anything that we have not witnessed and done ourselves. We know this. Mm-hmm. And we're not an anomaly. We're not the exception to the rule. We are the rule. Mm-hmm. So uh, here on the screen, you'll see where it says, um, just a moment. Make sure that I get my view situated here as well. And here, here's another, uh, here's another, just an energetic something that I would like to add to this, if you, if you, if you will, please, uh, nobility, is, is that uh, when things like this happen, we need not fear, mm-hmm. because see, her energy and our energy is always going to match because we're one. All the mores that have ever been taken. Their energy matches those that they commune with. And so it is our job and our responsibility to just be cool as cucumbers while she tests because she is being tested. Mm -hmm. And we know that she will pass her test. We know that. And Mm -hmm. and that is where the assistance from us comes in at. In, in more than anything else, because this is really more spiritual than it is anything else. We know she hasn't murdered anybody. We know she hasn't hurt anybody. We know that. We know all of that. Mm-hmm. We know that. So then what is this really about? What is it really about? It's a spiritual thing. Mm-hmm. It's spiritual first. And Empress Shasha is extremely highly sensitive spiritually extremely highly sensitive spiritually, which is a good thing. Because guess what? Because we're going to be so cool and so calm and knowing that she's going to set herself free and we're going to assist. We're do, we're assisting right now and, and, and some may not even know that. But see, she's spiritual. She's already tuned into the spirit because when they first, and, and I'll just speak from my own uh, perspective, when they first take you, like that. Uh, There's a lot of fear on our part, but see, fear also reaches into the spirit realm because fear looks into the future. Mm -hmm. Fear is always projecting into the future. That's the only reason people get scared is because it's not because of what's being done to them at that moment. It's they're thinking what's going to happen to me. So our job for her with her Right now, because we're with her, I can see her right now. I can see her. Our job is just to be cool, calm, collected, and then agree with her in the documentation. She will do the rest. She's already working in the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so let's just uh, do what we've always done together. Whenever we come together, it's calm. It's 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 peaceful, it's it's unity, it's unified. Let's keep that going, but keep her a picture of her, her image in our minds at that and we do that for all the Moors. We do it for all the Moors, you know, at all times anyway. But she can she can she sees us, she already knows we're 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 meeting right now. She knows mm-hmm. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She knows she that. Knows. She knows. She knows. Just like I knew when I was in there, uh, I didn't know how how much was going on when I was in there. They practically shut the phone lines down, you know, when I was doing my demonstration back in 2021, I believe it was. Uh, They practically shut the phones down. I didn't know all that was going on. I knew calls were coming in because I could hear it in the spirit realm, but she knows. She knows. So, um as little as 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 few words as possible on the uh habeas uh habeas capitis corpus okay. okay as few words as possible it doesn't take a long drawn out document cuz the word is the word whether we say one word or 10 mhm just the words that we do speak will agree with her in the spirit realm 
And then we, we're not going to worry about her. We're going to think about her. We know that. But we're not going to worry because worry is energy also. She's going to stand. She's been here before. She's going to stand. They're not going to hurt her. They may ruffle a little bit because that's, that's, sometimes that's part of the test. But she's going to be fine and she'll be out of there in no time flat. She, she's she been there. belongs to us. She belongs to us. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. She's a matriarch. Things like that, and this is, this is, this is, just keep this in mind too, that when days like that come, they always do something on those days if they can. Mm -hmm. On those special high holy days like the eclipse, I remember when uh, Justice uh, Lamont Maurice L. was taken. That was on a high holy day, and I can't remember exactly which one it was. I don't know if it was a full moon or whether it was uh, it was some holy day, uh, but that's what they do on those days. And, and all we do is just do what we do, you know. Uh, Empress Shasha's been here before, and so this time around, it's just going to be more of the same, more standing. She's, she's going to stand, and we, we stand with her. Exactly. Yeah. No need to worry about her. She's going to be fine. She's going to stand. She's going to stand. Uh, they did that to send a message because, you remember, on those days, but see, we did a demonstration on the, on that day too. So... Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and here's the thing. You know what? Empress Angel, I knew you did. I knew you did. I could feel it in the spirit. And there are others who did demonstrations on that specific. No, we weren't outside staring up at the sky. We were demonstrating our status. So, um, and they know that, that that is what happens. And so sometimes things like that are done, you know, on those days like that. Mm -hmm. I got it. Uh... Greetings to the brother over there. You see him over there. Look like oh. a maroon cover on the head. Justice Nate. What's up? It's long. Nate. Great. What's up, Nate? Justice Nate. How are you? I'm I'm doing great. Good. 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 Okay. Uh, I see the document. I see the wording. Uh, got it. Did you Did you want to uh, or will yes. to? I'll I'll go ahead and share. Uh, just a moment. Mm -hmm. And if at some point, uh, Norway, you may want to, on the affirmative jurisdiction, <clears throat> let me see. About and so the um, I was you know enlightened by Noel Earl. The plan is to um have the consulate here at New York take it to the Moroccan consulate in Manhattan, put them on notice. You know, to be honest with you, they're, all they're going to say is, but you're the Moroccan consulate. That's really all they're going to say. I mean, you can do it if you're led to do that. But here's what I'm finding, and even today this has been affirmed, that when we start talking about headquarters and, 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 and places where we would normally send documents to notify subjects in the office of, they're not there. No one's there because they already know we're the head and we've taken our stand. They know that already. So putting it on the public record and then notifying those at Jamaica Territory. If, 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 if something were to be sent, uh, if, if I were going to send something just as a matter of notification, I would, I would notify the subjects in the office of the Jamaican consulate at New York, if there be one. Yes. Subjects that's, in the that's office. That's what we, we had in mind. Yeah. To notify them that she's not a citizen, she's, she's, she's the head of, of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me see if I can get this over there to you. What uh, 
you looking at them? I don't see anything that says I can get it. So like okay. Yeah. But that's the kingdom of Morocco. No, the Jamaican consulate, and they are. It's in. Okay. Has it has anything come over, Justice Earl? Well, I see decline. No. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. There we go. How about that? Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, okay. Yes, we can see it. Okay. We can see your desktop. Let me let me get my. But but in uh, Empress Angel, you you already know this. I'll just say this just as a just as a reminder. Don't give them any titles. They are subjects in the office of. Which you know you all know that as well. That you're just notifying them that you all have set you all have you all recognize her for who she is, and that she is free. Free is the status. Mm, yes. Yeah, because they know. Yeah. Yeah. See, the the subjects in the yeah. office of Jamaican consulate is actually. Uh, Can't really see it. Fifty-five Broadway, eighteen floor, Councilor Jane. They have an email. They have an email. That 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 would be quick. That would be quick. An email would email? quicken things. Yeah, that would be that would quicken things and then and then send send the documentation domestic. I'll take this. I was gonna take this off anyway. All of this. All all of what which part, nobility? Redditor status, right of claim, reversion of of state, international well, international instrument can stay there. Uh it, no, it's, a, it's actually a domestic instrument. They're subjects. It, it used to be international when we thought that they were a nation and when we thought that they were a country and that they were legitimate and legal and lawful, but they're not. They're subjects of us. So it, that's, why, that's even why the stamps have been made domestic. Mm -hmm. That is just us stating that, no, no, they were acting as corporations, but that's not who that is. Those are our subjects. Period. Okay. okay. Um, scroll back up, please, nobility. Uh, sorry, universal. Um, if you if you would remove the words "writ of" and and change them to "living Aliyah." In the title of the document, living living Aliyah. Uh, yeah, that that that'll work. The corpus. Um, also, it's habeas capitis and corpus. Oh, that uh, capitis again. <laughs> uh, P i t u s. C A P I T U S and Corpus. Okay. Um, the creditor status you can remove that because it's it's not really a financial document. Um, that would be at the top of a lien if you were doing a lien on them. Yes. And then uh, you can remove right of claim reversion of a state because it's not really that. But by way of us speaking, that is is the state. We are the state. We're not we're not trying to change it back because they changed it. We're not trying to do that because they don't have the authority to change anything. Mm -hmm. So what what we're doing is just stating we're the state. You're the subjects, and she's one of us. And we recognize her, and we don't recognize any corpses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, Capitis, if you would, 
if you don't mind, change international instrument to uh, mandamus, quo warranto, restitutio, mitimus. Mandamus, restitutio, uh, quo warranto. Mitimus, M I T T I M U S. And mitimus just means that there will be a bill sent. Oh, really? Yes. Mm. There will be a bill sent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. See, when we're talking about her, we're not talking about exchanging her for a payment, but for her inconvenience, there will be a bill sent. Mm -hmm. So mitimus is, is the Latin of uh, remittance or submitting or admitting or, you know, uh, bills of remittance things of that nature. Okay. Okay. And mandamus has an S on the end. Oh. And that word is Latin for command. Mm. Yes, yes. One just okay. second. Uh, where is it? Is it where, uh, first... The first is, is uh, if you would put the court action language at the top, because if we know that you're sending the document, but it's coming from all of us, and it's actually coming from the court. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you okay. want the court, because see, court actions, court action, lang that language, <sighs> one of these days I'm going to be able to tell the whole tale about that, about how that worked for me in terms of that court action language, instead of me presenting my own self by myself, which is still powerful for all of us to present ourselves, but it's always better to come with the whole nation. And generally, when I'm doing things like that, I, I some, in in most cases, I remove my own appellation out completely and just speak as the court, and then sign it as the justice, which is how they did things, in, you know, in the in the um, previous era. You know, whenever something came from a fake judge, they would just, you know, they would say the court says this and the court says that, and then they would sign it at the bottom. So, um, Justice Earl, do you mind that it come from all of us instead of just Earl Julian Lloyd L., the great noble? Don't mind it at all. And all <laughs> more. Yeah. Yes, indeed. It, uh, yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. That's for all this involved. Islam, right. indeed. Indeed. I'll be consistent. And then when you say uh, a natural, if you would change the word person to people. Yeah. Okay. We use, we use persons on company documents. So, for example, if we knew who was holding her, we would go online and get their lo the logo and and nationalize that logo and then set her free and state that and really we would just state that you know this this cause for action is dismissed uh not even dismissed because it's because it's not even valid is this void ab initio so it would be void ab initio uh and and then uh an invoice will be sent a bill would be sent will be sent And they have to pay in gold, mm -hmm. you know. And that's where the creditor status comes in, that is she's been inconvenienced because of their incompetence. 
on fake identity. Uh, I see some familiar language there, uh, Justice Earl. Um, is it possible that, uh, well, how many pages is that that you have there? That's two. Let me make sure. Two, 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 two. So we're going to go, it'll probably go to three, but yeah, you can see. And that, that uh, it looks like it's on eight and a half by 11 instead of eight and a half by 14. Uh, it probably should be on eight and a half by 14. Um, I would shorten. Now, this is just what I'm feeling in the spirit. It's up to you to do it however you choose to do it, nobility. Uh, I would remove that all, from number one down. I would remove all of that and state who she is. If there's a case number, I'm talking about like everything that's on there. And I know that sounds, uh, but everything that's on there from one down to, to and state who she is. It's because really this is, the, this is the government stating who she, yeah, all of that, just remove all of that. Because now we're at a new case. See, you're, you're stating stare decisi and res judicata. That's, 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 that's good. However, what we're doing right now is stating about what's what's happening right now, and we we state that she, Empress Shasha, and we could go to her we could go to her YouTube page and see how she refers to herself in her court actions and state that. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it's uh, Empress Sharon Pert. Uh, Sharon Pert. Johnson is four reports to it. Yes, yes, because see that is the that they would be attempting to use a dead letter homonym for that appellation instead of, you know, Empressha. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh the Sasha Ann Bay in and the you appellation. Could, you, could put, you could put that as well. You can put both of them and state that that she is she is one of us we recognize her her appellation her so you can just say like we normally do her sovereign born appellation is empress sharon pert and uh uh the rest of those uh appellations that are on there and then her uh free chosen sovereign appellation is shasha ann bay what's interesting is that in her documents she uses her born expression yes. uh, consistently uh, through there. I know she has authority with that, okay, fiduciary speaking, and I think that's why she uses it, part she of the reason. Should. She should. She should use it. That was a, there was a, there was some, an attempt to remove us from our sovereign born estates by saying change your name completely and don't call yourself what your sovereign mother, who Stargate you came from, called you. But they were using dead letter homonyms to do so. So using just, you can, again, just state her sovereign born appellation is Empress Sharon. Her free chosen national appellation is Empress Shasha Ann Bay. Uh, we recognize her. She is the nation. She's the state, the law, the government. And she's also free. And that that is the see and again, uh all of all of those other things the it's it's really a, just about her and that. Uh I would I'm gonna go online and see if I can uh does anyone, did anyone look up what her entire sovereign born appellation is? Because maybe we can go online to Jamaica territory and see if we can find if, you know, a place that may be holding her or attempting um, to hold her. Noble um, Nate is looking at her YouTube channel now and trying to do some recon on that. Okay. 
One of her videos is entitled Empress Sharon Pert. Uh, I can't remember the whole application. I've got one here. It's Shasta and Bay. That's on um, YouTube. Okay. Yep. And then one of one of the videos on there is Empress Sharon, uh, where she's doing the court action to state that her sovereign-born appellation is not a dead letter homonym. So she's already uh, done the work. Her um, her uh, sovereign-born appellation is Sharon Ann Pert Johnson. Is what she's That's been using. That's the one I was trying to think of, and I could not think of it. Uh, and that is the one uh, that we had there also. Sovereign-born appellation. <laughs> I've got to get this to move over, but anyway. <laughs> oh, because you got to go in your um, home, go to home on the top cursor yeah and then you gotta oh it's really on there so oh see see that little icon next to the one you mm -hmm. gotta go up there and delete that the one you gotta delete the one mm -hmm. and now hit backspace Can you hit backspace there you go aha uh -huh. look at you <laughs> yes <laughs> I usually do this when it comes to stuff like that around here. Now, when I hit the one, there it is, right there. Boom. Okay. And then that's, it moves yeah, on. that's fine. That's a tab. That's, it'll just stay in line. All the numbers yeah. will stay in line like that, I assume. But if you go up, you see the um, little blue dot with the line, and then you have the one, two, three. You can go up there and adjust those settings for those here. things. No, which, and the little pass? gray bar down underneath, right? You went past it just quick. Up, keep going up, up, right there, and now head to the right. Yes, there you are, right in that area. See, those are dots. Yeah, you can go to the next one, and you can edit those. And now when I hit the, the arrow down, right, see? And you can edit those things. And then see down at the bottom, all the way at the bottom. Yes, right, keep going. Down, right, change list level. See up, yeah, that one. See how you can change the indentation for the things there? And how mm -hmm. far it goes in. You can change that there. So if I want to just go to one mm -hmm. right here, boom. That should stay that way. It came up over here. So mm -hmm. I should be able to get this over there then. All right. But, but it's, it's but you have to again. you have to um hit I think enter or something to save it. Oh, okay. Or um, or choose that option. Did you choose an option? Uh yeah, I choose chose one. Let's see. Let's go to back to it. And I chose one. Right Level here. one. So you highlight. Mm -hmm. You clicked it. Yeah, I clicked it. And okay. then it moved up here. The market moved there. So mm -hmm. if I go, it, it won't stay here in front, in front of the one. So if I go like this and I hit a one, boom, it moves again. It keeps again. doing that. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure what's locked in. So Let me see because I edited that myself. Let's see. Let's go to another page document. If you click on paragraph. You see that little, there's a little arrow at paragraph right there. Mm, where's that at? It's up up on the taskbar. There's the word paragraph is at the bottom of the taskbar up at the top. Um, bring your cursor to the left, down to the left. Go down a little further, down. Now, see the word that? Yes. Click on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, it's just remove the indention. There's a left indention there. See that mm -hmm. left indention? Just put it at zero, zero, zero. You're going up. Go down. There you go. There you go. Put it at, yeah, zero, zero with 
of them and then hit OK. Mm -hmm. There we are. So now it's staged. Okay. Yeah. Look out. Three heads are better than one. Yes, <laughs> Mom. Uh, whose sovereign-born appellation is? And we need um, <clears throat> Sharon. Sharon, and let me find it's, it on the chat. It's on her. It's on her YouTube page. I believe it's for Sharon Per Johnson. Oh. Sharon Per Johnson. S H A. It's right here. Exactly. Other ancient. Another. Sharon Ann Pert Johnson. Amen, amen. Jacob. That was cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay, yes. And Pert Johnson. Yep. Okay. Go, uh, uh, Justice, Justice Earl. Yes. At the beginning of that sentence, that you're at, mm -hmm. my suggestion would be to state that we, the original indigenous ancient sovereign, people who are the Moorish National Republic Federal Government and Let's see, how do we want to state this? Ah. Uh, it would be, oh, or whatever. You know what? Okay. I've, I've, I've been presumptive. Let me apologize for that. I know that you all have government that you all have presented. Empress Angel, you have the Mahakachalk government. Uh, if there is another government, Justice Earl, that you all have, please Krypton put them there. Please Krypton put them there. territory, land of tomorrow. Okay. So then the three governments, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and Empress uh, Nawe, I, I'm, I'm not sure uh, which government you're with, but all governments should be presented. And Empress Navi, that's the other Empress Navi. Yes, yeah, I'm sure she has a government yeah. as well. Islam. So, Islam. and what is what is the appellation, the holy appellation for your government, Empress? Uh, and a Uh, okay. So now there are four governments, and see, we didn't even know we were doing all of that right there. We didn't even know that. I did not know that. Uh, but all of those governments are presented here, so we should all state that, or the document should state that. Mm -hmm. And you could actually even put each one of our appellations for those governments as heads of those governments, because mm -hmm. we're all heads of those governments. Mm -hmm. okay, now, so now, now, who said we weren't unified? Who said that? <laughs> Come on now. I could do one of It would be five governments. Actually, it's the Mohawk Chuck, Manawatu, and Swamp Womack. We got okay. three at New York. <laughs> here, so there it is. There, and, and, and right here, to assist Empress Shasha, there are five governments. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Five sovereign governments. They can shut that. They're not unified stuff. Ugh. <laughs> they can just be quiet. They can just, because we shut them down every time. We shut them down with every demonstration we do. Okay. So. Now, we the original indigenous sovereign uh, people. People who are. Uh, who are the most federal government. This is this is my uh, suggestion. So, um, Justice Earl, you could, uh, and this is just a suggestion. You, for number one, you would state. Uh, I, Justice Earl, Julian Lloyd L., and all Moors who are part and parcel for, and you state your government, and then uh, recognize 
empress, and each one of us will say that. Each one of us, each one of our governments will, will state that we recognize her and she's part of us. Because in reality, we really are one by bloodline and birthright. We have different governments, but we're one by bloodline and birthright. And so she's a part of all of us. So, so uh, say, say that again. I, Justice Earl Jean Lloyd L. Uh, Chief Justice for and state your government, the government that you are the head for. Uh, state the, state your title as Chief Justice. Okay. Uh, yeah, Chief Justice Earl Julian Lloyd L. Now, let me ask about about your government. Have you done a statehood, a, a, a public statehood presentment for your government? Yes. yes. Okay. And so um, the whatever the mandates are, for example, when, when we declared our statehood, we, we went according to the uh, international mandates for the Montevideo Convention of 1933. So we looked at that and we and and each one of the mandates that state that this is what you do to declare statehood that you're a state that you're a nation um it is a good idea to look at those and be sure that and it's not 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 a lot of them it's it's, it's like about four or five for those four or five things to do in order to according to universal law or according to international law declare that you're a state a nation an empire and uh let's see justice earl krypton territory land of tomorrow if you would because this is going to tie us all together land of tomorrow comma an empire state for morocco government Because that's going to tie us all together. That's in all, all. That's a part of all of our pro proclamations. Because we're all one empire, just many heads of state and government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I got uh, distracted. What was the uh, part after the empire? An empire state for Morocco government, or Moroccan empire government. Whichever you, however you choose to state that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Islam. Do hereby recognize. Oh, I meant to say, and all Moors after I, Chief Justice Earl Julian Lloyd L, and all Moors for Krypton Territory, Land of Tomorrow. No, it's too late. I can't do that. <laughs> mm. I've already written it. That's law. <laughs> uh, it, it, it seems long. It seems long. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hi, Chief Justice. Ju Did you know that in in some of our ancient writings, our ancestors didn't use any periods or commas or anything. Uh, they didn't use none of that. Everything. <laughs> they didn't use punctuation. No. It was all just. Content, Content. But we all knew what they were saying. Mm -hmm. uh, and Is that a hint? Like, is that a hint? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, territory land tomorrow. An empire state for Morocco. Uh, it, you can take the end off of the end of Morocco government. Um, do, and the word do is D-O. We'll send them that other one, the D-U-E, when that one comes later. <laughs> that comes with the bill. Uh, Hereby recognize. Transfer to this account. The, uh, the living... 
Chief Justice, and then you can put uh, Shasha Ann Bay, who's uh, free chosen, uh, or whose sovereign born appellation is Empress Sharon Pert Johnson. Sharon Ann Pert Johnson. Uh, Sharon Ann Pert Johnson. P A R T. Uh, and it's Sharon, S H A R O N. Islam Noble. Islam. Great rising, Justice Islam, Dawood. Brother. Um, Justice Dawood, yeah. what is the name of your government? Government where? Is I'm it in. Uh, Squampomac, is Squampomac government? Oh, oh, over there in uh, New York Territory. New York is a uh, Squampomac province. Right okay. now, I'm, I'm in Georgia. Okay, and and do you have a government in at Georgia who has declared statehood? No, they, I don't think they did that yet. Okay. Because what we're doing is, uh, right now we have uh, five governments here, five governments presented here, mm -hmm. and uh, each government is going to just state that we recognize Empress Shasha, because we're all empires, uh, Moroccan Empire governments, all of us. Mm -hmm. And so each one of our governments is, is stating that, that we recognize her. All right, so let me make sure. So, um, Justice, Justice Kendra, Earl, the, each Kendra. government is going to have a separate number. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. No, I, I want to – I thought Earl was – we was having a meeting about Sasha. That's what this – Okay. Okay. Uh, can you uh, see the screen, Justice Awu? Yes. Okay. This is a document that that just that Justice Earl and and the other governments presented here, myself included, uh, is doing in favor of Emperor Shasha. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, Justice Earl, Squampomac will be can be number two. And then uh, Empress Angel's government can be number three, and so on. Uh, I'm just trying to help facilitate so we can get Sasha home. She's going to get herself home. She saw well, our energy. Yes. <laughs> the beautiful energy that we have between yes. each other. Yes. And it's in the universe. Yes. And uh, the, the great mother will get her home. As long yes. as she, Sasha's fine. Yes. This, this, this is just a help. Yes. And that's why we're doing it this way. It's so that um, each one of our governments that's presented here will speak. And she's going to, she's standing. We know she's standing. Mm hmm uh, just a second, have you heard anything about where she may be? No, I, I just, uh, Howard told me, what was it yes, earlier today? Was it today or yesterday? Mm -hmm. oh, I can't remember. Anyway, no, it was yesterday. No, okay. Okay. I don't know where Sasha is. Okay. Our ancestors know where she is. So I, I told Earl... We got Miami, the counselors in Miami, and we got one, in, of course, in New York. So Angel can help in New York because we don't got nobody down there in Miami that actually knows what to do. It, 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 that's okay. It's all it's all one land. So we'll we'll just we'll, we'll we can do it right from what we're doing right now. 
ultimately Empress Shasha, as, as and we know her, we know she she will stand, and what she says is going to agree with what we state on the on the document. What she states is going to agree with what we we're stating here. Mm-hmm. So we have uh, five governments that is that are speaking to assist her. Okay. So. Okay, so let me get the names of the other ones. Okay. Uh, Islam, I put mine in the chair. Okay, I can't go in there uh, under arrangement. Uh, just well, I didn't even know the chat was going on. I didn't either until <laughs> Uh, okay. Empress Nabi, go ahead and state your government, and, and your government will be number two on the list, or number three, I guess, because Kwan Pomek is number two. Uh, her government uh, is that if it's not the, what's the what's the government for you? Empress Navi, can you all hear me? Can you hear me? My, my, we can my, now. We can now. I was trying to spell it out. E Y E space A M space T H A T. Was that P H A T? So it's I am that I am, but it's E Y E A M T H A T. I got some I got some background noises. I can't hear you. Okay, uh, Empress Nabi, let me ask you uh, about that about your government. Have you done a, a public statehood proclamation? For your government? I have not done a public statehood proclamation, but I have been putting it on all of my court actions. Okay. Um, Empress Nabi. Oh, that's loud. Do you mind that we not put it on here until the public declaration is done. I'm fine with that. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. And the reason I say that is because the public declaration on the public record, fitting those, um, the really suggestions until we make them the law, which we've done, uh, which we've all done, uh, those, what we're doing is securing our competence by doing that first and then moving forward. Islam. Islam. Uh, I will say, Empress Nabi, we love the work that you do, though. But you know that already. Islam, gratitude. Uh, So Justice Earl, number two, should you can just copy and paste number two, but put uh, from number one, but change the chief justice and the name of the government, and you can do that for all of them. Copy and paste number one and put it into number two, and put Squam Pomek and Justice Dawood and Justice Nathan. Justice Nathan, that is the same government, isn't it? Um, it's it's Manawatu is okay. the um is the government that's the most active. I haven't done the statehood for Mohawk Chalk as yet, though I did a lot of work with Mohawk Chalk. Okay, me. now wait. Hold on, hold on, everybody, please. Ooh, I'm so glad you said that. Do you all know how amazing this is, first and foremost? But number two, the as soon as you all can look at just go back and look at our statehood proclamation because we just listed the 13 we did 13 things which was which was over and above but 
And then you can pull some of those 13 things too, because you all have, were doing those with us. For example, having your own money. If you don't have your own money, if your government doesn't have their own money, then they can state that Delarium is their money too, because we've already done the securities and exchange things. And again, it was our securities and exchange, not a, not a dead corpse one. Um, and you can claim that and, and then put the other things for your government on the public record. Because when we do these things, we we have to be able to actually point to where if they say, well, well, we, we don't know about this government, where is this government? And th this would be more saying this, not, not, not corpses. Where, where is this one? We saw that you all put this document on the public record. Where can we find some more information about this government and what did they do to, to state that they're a government? Then you can point to a record somewhere or a video somewhere or a document somewhere that you've placed on the public record with all those things. And, and for the Montevideo, the 1933 Montevideo um, Convention, there's only four things that you have to do for, for statehood, only four. And then, you know, nations, when you look at the word nation in a dictionary, it will tell you some other things, such as having their own language that everyone in the nation can understand or understand or understand and that they all speak and things like that. And again, there's no rule that says you can't use the same things that we did that the Moorish National Republic federal government did. You, there's no rule that says you can't claim all the things that we've done as yours as well if you don't have your own language or your own money or, or and things like that. Because so, that's just showing that we're one body when we do that, though. We're all empire. We're all Moroccan empire government, all of them, mm -hmm. you know. And so anyone who, who wills to be a, a separate nation, a separate state, a separate government can do that. Uh, we're we're going to be sharing among each other and using things among each other. That's just how government is. That's what a one earth government is about. So, um, let me get this one straight. Yeah, um, I was about to say, Justice uh, Earl, what number um, are you? Number three. three. Number three. So it would be um, Angelica and Justice Nathan, and um, for the Manawatu. He uh he he's yeah. doing Chief Justice uh Nevea. Oh okay Nevea. Nawe. That should be Nawe. <laughs> Nawe. Like Yahweh. Yes yes. <laughs> okay I will remember that. <laughs> and it's N A W E H. N A W E. -H. Yeah I changed the spelling. It was spelled similar to what he's doing now, but I changed the spelling. Okay. And it's N-A-W-E-H. I don't know. Uh, Justice Earl, are you there? Did we lose you? <laughs> he might have stepped away for a minute. Okay. <clears throat> Justice Nowey, it's, it's great to see your face and put the face and the appellation together. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's wrong. Um, you know, um, when it comes to things like this, when uh, we look oh, he's been having internet issues. That's what he said earlier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me. This mom, Empress Navi. Empress Navi, hello, beautiful. <laughs> uh, it's good to see you. You're muted, though, Mem Empress. Both of you. Always there we are. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. It's like great rising, beautiful Empress Navi. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm doing great. Good to see you. Better now. How are the other empress and emperors? <laughs> Islam. 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 Do you all realize that this is a United Nations meeting? Do you realize that? 
<laughs> yes, it is. Right? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's really starting to actually sink in. It's occurring to me what, what we've really been doing. It's magnificent. It's internal affairs right here that we're Come about on. to handle. Come on. <laughs> And, international, and, internal, and international, exactly. international court of justice. That's the third. Yes. Yeah. There, oh, you know, I I all, all the justices. For that. I you can actually put the bill on the document. Ooh, look at that! I have, to share, the Ooh, I have mm-hmm. to share. I actually made a logo with the Leo look with the lion's head on it. So yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> we used to make that sound back in the day. Wow. It's really hitting me. Wow. I knew we had multiple nations and governments, you know, present, but it's really hitting me now. We, we could also come together and agree on a, a, a nation seal that we all can use for international purposes. Mm-hmm. And vote on it because that's what international governments do. They come together in sessions yes. and vote on different things like flags, yes. um, uh, uh, seals, uh, justices. That's what they do. Yeah. Because I was doing a little bit of research on New York archives, mm-hmm. and it was saying how uh, Queen Anne, who we know was a Moor, yeah. and they impose the tax on the colony, so they have different jurisdictions. They're showing you that it's oh yes, definitely. It's definitely. the corporate jurisdiction, and then it's the colony jurisdiction. Ooh. And then they misclassified this, but in the archives they said, "Listen, hey, if this is if something language is wrong, we can correct it." They they say that in the archives. You know, yeah, we found that today. Yeah, yeah. That's actually what. The federal, state, local, county, and then policy enforcers and state courts, they were all claiming to be different jurisdictions, and they were all imposing taxes on the people, all mm-hmm. of them. Like, on the oh, same and, then, oh. and then they says that the, the money that is collected goes to the Treasury. Yes. It didn't say the Federal Reserve. It said Treasury. Yes. Mm-hmm. So because it's – babe, get it off my computer, no, please. So it, it said that there's the – the New York, comma, colony, comma, hyphen, state. Mm. New York. Mm. And then they got New York colony. So one is corporate and then one is um, regular. So the colony has been pretending to be the state yeah. this entire time. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure that's for all of the contiguous states. The colonies have been enacting their act upon the people as a state, but it's been the colony that was to the crown over there in England. Well, that was every fake lawyer or attorney. That was actually the War of the Americans and the British, the American Revolution situation. Mm -hmm. That was the people versus them things. Yeah. Those things. You know, that was what I thought about when the, and I heard uh, part of the congressional meeting regarding when the ship hit the bridge, but I also thought about the Boston Tea Party and what happened because of the overage of taxes, what people did to revolt, you know, in that situation. So I also looked at it as, you know, us waking up and revolting and saying no more, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we've already begun imposing taxes over here, but but we did it in a way that's a little bit different. We we actually started giving out more sovereign delarium, which in reality is stating that that's that's a jurisdictional statement. Mm-hmm. It's a jurisdictional statement. It's stating that yes, we know that you are under our jurisdiction. We know that. So we, here you go. Mm-hmm. Competent man, listen <laughs> because. I today I was going through my news feed, right, and they are trying to and it says act. They are trying to act out doing their version to usurp the um the estate the real estate that has been you know man, listen. I read it and it said um 
courts and or and competent juris when when I said it stated competent jurisdiction can only supersede that, I said, Well we know who that is. They, they, they sig they signaling us because we tearing the the housing market up over here. We telling them because we put the Torrance law in and told them, listen, the only way that property can be taken has to be taken by a competent a person. And if they're not competent to do it, they're not the landlord. So, oh, and they, we have put down the stipulation on what what is the process, which is the process that we've been stating on Congress. Okay, so I, I have something that I'll show you all that that they started putting on on the the the, the things here online. I'll show it to you about the the Aboriginal and treaty rights where property is concerned. They've mm -hmm. actually started adding that to it, saying that that is an exception to their paperwork. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, because this is talking about evictions. It's it's um prohibition of evictions. With Sarah first, Let, because because y'all know we can go for about two two more hours on that. <laughs> so let's get in for Sasha. Uh, let's provide the assistance to her first, and then and, and we can talk about that then because. That real estate thing, I, I have so much to show y'all. We've actually started conveying real estate to, to to the United States, back to the people over here. Yes, because uh, because if we realize that what Empress Shasha is going through over there at Jamaica is because of the land. She stated that they want her land. That's the reason why they are doing that against her, because of the land. So the fact that we're speaking about property and estates is talking about Sasha because you have an actor who's acting and saying, pulling puppet strings, trying to get her off her land and remove her as as the head that she is competently so they can usurp her jurisdiction with land, for land, by, and all that stuff, and they can't do it. But they but they can't do that because they don't even exist on the land. No, we have to know that. So, uh, Justice Earl, yes. where are you on the on number on the I'm document? Because y'all, I, I do want to run with, with what we're talking about. But but yeah. but let's 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 get to infrastructure, please. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Before let's we get number four, and can you see the screen? No, Not yet. Uh, I'm going. Let me let me. Just, you have to give it back to me. Okay. It's um. Uh, let's see which presenter. Let me know when you receive the prompt, Jessica. Okay. How about that? It's yes. coming up. There we are. We are seeing it. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm on number four. Uh, now, way I want to make sure I get yours right though too. So I'll be going through everybody to make sure. Okay. Can you make it a little bigger? Um. And make each one a separate, you know, if you don't make, instead of it looking like a paragraph, if you could pull each one out, like number three, pull it out and make it a separate paragraph. Okay, bring it out to the left. Yes. Okay, please. okay, I need a little assistance on that one. <laughs> okay, go, oh, go, just go, just go, go to number two and hit enter. Yeah. Go yeah. before the number two and hit enter. There you go. Okay. Now and back it up some. Yeah, press the back. There you, there you go. go. It actually has yeah. been okay. And then the mm -hmm. same number three hit enter as well and number four as well. Uh and put a little space between it, please. One one sentence space so that we can see that it's three yes, different yes, yes. So just hit enter again. Yeah. Yeah. Behind before it. the three. Before it. You gotta go in front of the three. Go in front of it. There you go. There yeah. you go. And then the same thing for number two. There we are. Beautiful. And number four. And number four. Hey. And and so this. On that one. Just hit enter. Twice. Twice. There Thank we go. No okay. Cooperating. And it's um uh, my my appellation is a new it's uh okay, an elite a new <laughs> let's go back I'm gonna start all over. Okay. Yes. Um, H H Annalise Annalise is right. 
And it's a NAH? new uh, the NA, okay. NAU. Oh, that was right. <laughs> Wait a minute, you guys. <laughs> I don't know what's oh, going new. on. <laughs> No, not like that. <laughs> okay. Oh no, wait a minute. Which one is it? Um, you got to go back and retype Nawe because it's not there anymore. I don't know what your computer is doing I see here. It. I got NA. You can see it. I yeah, got it. I got it pretty big actually. N A H W E N A H W E N A N A L E. There should be an H there. There we go. A N A L Y S E. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. What? Oh, no, it's, it's the internet, I'm sure. There we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> a, a new A N U. And a N U. Yeah, Israel, Y I S. Y, yeah, Y, I, S, R, A, E, L, Bay. Empress Nawe. You. you said it's Annalise? No. Yes, yeah, Annalise. Are you, an, are you an analyst by nature, though? I am, actually. I'm very I'm analytical not. and very, um, I can, I'm, I'm detailed, very detailed. Yes. I, I actually used to be an analyst for a company in California when I saw it because they would pronounce it analyze yes but we pronounce it Annalise mm -hmm. that's beautiful very beautiful yes. I, I, just, I just see a brain gonna... I just see brain I just see <laughs> and I work a lot with um, um, Chief Justice um, Earl a lot so he can attest to that that part <laughs> yes he's correct he's wrong. He's wrong. Justice Earl. Uh, I'm going to go up to number three. Go ahead, brother. Uh, you left out the, the most important part of my appellation is the bay. You see the chief on my... Oh. Oh, yeah, come on. What's up? Man, I can't mess with you, brother. <laughs> you you like me more. That She be doing that stuff. Justice Light, <laughs> I, have a, I have a empress here, and she's only nine years old, and she's, she's a, a dynamite. Oh, wow. Yeah. Beautiful. We're we're actually honored, and we can feel her energy even as you yeah, see. She's got some energy. That's why I got to keep them them down because we'll be out. Yeah. So I'll go yeah, up to number, number three. Mm -hmm. And Angelica, is that is Angel? Is that correct? Give give me the give me the correction. Oh, you can in um caption Nolo on the A. And number two. Number three, there we go. Angelica Yvette is my middle appellation. Spell Yvette. Y V E. Mm -hmm. T T E. Okay. And then Dobbs. D O D B. And then Bay. B E Y. Okay. Thank you. And then it's yeah. Manawatu. You want to be on this one too? On this? Yeah, oh, and then and Justice Nathan, right. Chief Justice. Okay. Chief Justice. Yeah, I heard you talking to Shula Riding. Oh, is that her? Uh, I see Angel. Yeah, I was like, that's her. Yeah, Angel. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Nathan. Nathan, Nathan, Islam, brother, is there a correction that's needed right up above there, Johnson squamming? Hold on just a second. I'm going to get his laugh. Bruce, was it Cherry? Yes, and Bay. Okay. And Bay. Okay, good. Just Bay, yes. Thank All you. All right. 
And then we right. have to um, spell the uh, Manawatu territory because um, mm-hmm. and all Moors for Manawatu. You all, I'm I'm really looking forward to your statehood announcement. Oh, and you can affirm it. Yes, mom. You're the floor. (laughs) Gratitude. (laughs) Right? (laughs) M U N N A W H A C T E A, no, T A E. I'm sorry. T A. E A U G. Oh, I was right. I read the first time. E A U G. That's right. E A U G. Yeah, silly me. Top of the T is E A U. Yes, E A U G. Okay. Manu- federal. Manawatu federal government. Okay. That's wrong. Okay. Was there a mobile bike though? Going for mobile? No. That's not the physical on the website. Okay. Very well then. Okay. Number five is about to occur. Well, okay. <laughs> We'll just get all this good stuff and make the corrections. Oh, Islam nobility. Go ahead. Um, you want to add Chief Justice in front of my appellation. Correct. Better put, better put, it, better put it, better put it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Gotta get it right. Gotta get it right. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Now, who we got last? Pauline Denise Ritchie. I was sitting to say. (laughs) (laughs) Pauline Denise Ritchie. Uh. My free chosen sovereign appellation is light to Jerry Bay. Okay, we won't have to do all that. Uh, <laughs> and all more. Yeah, that's right. And all more. For mm-hmm. uh, Empire State of Morocco. Uh, oh, for the Moorish National Republic federal government. Uh, after, yeah, and all more for the Empire State, uh, the Moorish National Republic federal government. And it's uh, M-O-O-R-I-S-H, the Moorish National Republic federal government. No, no, do we, no, okay, good. Thought we lost you. Oh, I'm trying to break the group up. There it is. Ah. Oh wow, that was quick. Yeah. Um. Oh, it's the E N T. Yeah. Government. Oops. G- <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. G O V E R M E N T. The The M as well. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Yes. G O V E R N M E N T E. Either way is correct for us, whether we're speaking ancient English or common English. So the N between the R and the M, you got to put an N. Govern. Here we are. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, we, we, 
we forgot to add the uh, consulate. <laughs> we forgot to add the government. My my uh, government here in Land of Flowers. We don't, we uh, it should be all more for the Anawawia Islam um, government. Spell it. Uh, oh like no, no, no 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 no! You got to go undo that because it's supposed to be in number four for <laughs> Empress oh. Nali. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's more for the Morris National Public Federal Government. Uh, isn't on on the wheel? Did I pronounce that correctly? Uh, Anna one we uh, it means the Anna principal one, yeah. people or the real people. Weren't they? Uh, the first did they? Weren't the they? Uh, didn't they? Weren't they situated at Detroit, Michigan territory initially, or or is that a different on on we uh? Um, as, as far as uh, the, the some of the research that I've done, they were um, they, they were a mixture of the five tribes actually. They, they were, were a mixture of the they were a mixture of the five tribes right. actually. Right. Um, I just I've done just a little bit of study on, on them, but I know they were a mixture of the what they call the five civilized tribes. Okay. That which 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 Michigama is part of that. Yeah. Um my 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 father's sister is named after one of the tribes. Her her name is um Onita, which was one of the tribes, and she was given that name because they were part and parcel of one of the tribes initially. Her their my great grandmother and my great great grandmother and her great great grandfather and so on and so forth. But they were situated in, at partially at Detroit, Michigan territory. Yeah. <laughs> and I I was actually born at Michigan, at Detroit, Michigan. So, so, be... so technically we're part of that. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I did before. Um nobility, it should be Anna Wanwia, um federal government. Yeah. For number four. Yeah, for number four, not the Moorish National Republic federal government, but the Ana Anwia government. We affirm and recognize each other. Islam. 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 Do you need her to spell that? Because I'm sure I would. I'm not going to say it again. Islam and and in that we are, is is also here in uh, Exrail, Georgia. That's where all our stamps are. And in Yeah, that's, that's, that's Taj's tribe, which they call a corporate Cherokee. Yeah. yeah, that's my that would be my tribe to, as well. Mm-hmm. It would be my tribe. Um, Bell A N I Y U N W I Y H. Y A is your word. Y A. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. There we go. Got it. That's interesting. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also, Chickasaw, as you were, Choctaw is in both Mississippi and also in Tennessee. So, you know, those are the maids. That's us, like an angel. Sorry, okay. Earl. He want to be an L. It's okay, Earl. Earl. So okay. it's not want to be an L. That's okay. I'm hurt. I'm hurting. <laughs> <laughs> he said he hurting. <laughs> um. I ain't gonna show it. I ain't gonna show it. I'm gonna show it. Okay. Now so, we're done with those. Recognize the living chief justice. Who stop. Uh, the word sovereign in each one of the sentences could be spelled. Uh, the G and the N could be switched around. Even though I know you're writing in ancient English, so it's according to your own spelling. It's still right. <laughs> uh, Oh, 
Okay, well, that's that's we'll pull that out because that was that was uh, okay. We'll go to each of the yeah, uh, and then we can the just add a final sentence to that that states that she is a sovereign, free. Uh, she is a sovereign, free people. <laughs> And that is actually going to unspell or dispel or expel any fake charges and crap like that. Uh, and again, she's going to state who she is and she's going to do port actions while she's there as well anyway. So our court for this great United Nations will be speaking the same as her as she is um islam should we put her link to her youtube channel on this part as well it's Which not is? necessary it's, it's not necessary see they already they are they've already seen all of that this is this is technically really it's the united nations document technically it is a united nations document because because we're all nations and governments Come again on you said she is what now? She is a she is a a sovereign free people. A sovereign free nation, rather. Mm -hmm. And if you, again, if you if you uh, never mind. <laughs> um, so here at the bottom, nobility, if you would state that uh, the statement that we put at the bottom brings all of the 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 signatures for all Moors that are on the public record in agreement with what we're doing as they so agree. So we usually put a statement at the bottom of our documents that says, uh, let me pull it up really quickly. Uh, You're talking about before the affirmation. Uh, it would be the affirmation it would be part of the affirmation okay because because so again the focus. document is coming from from everybody okay. all of the people are with us so the statement is and and all governments can use this and and just just since we're here and since we're we're all government um anytime and this is this is where the use of names that we own, okay, because we know we own all names. Any time that you all will to use our appellation for whatever it is, you have our permission to do so. Just 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 for the record. Um, the statement is. All sovereign, original, indigenous, divine empires, uh, Moroccan empire autographs affirming this command are on the public record at America, ancient Morocco, Northwest Africa, the North Gate or Earth. You can even put Earth because we have Moors at all the territories. So what, yeah, what we say is all sovereign, original, indigenous, ancient, divine autographs affirming this command affidavit are on the public record you could even make it that short. You could actually stop right there and and leave it at that. 
and that would bring more people to the action. And and we generally put that at the bottom of all of our documents. And then the people, as the people have voted and agreed and, and things of that nature, uh, uh, they make that document truth. Truth. What else is there at the bottom? What what else is a part of that? Uh, I affirm and decree by virtue of divine law within the Zodiac Constitution of the United States Public Constitution. Okay. 1791. There's just a couple of, of uh, changes uh, from I to we. Um, We oh. affirm and decree as divine law because we, we, we are the divine law. So instead of saying by virtue of divine law, we would say as divine law. Uh, by the Zodiac Constitution or in, a, sorry, in, a, in, in alignment with or in accordance to whichever you prefer, nobility in alignment with or in accordance to, in alignment with the Zodiac Constitution, and you can just, you can say, and the United States Public Constitution for 1791. And then I noticed, um, Justice Earl, I think someone brought this up earlier about the capitalization and, and so on and so forth. On on these types of documents, you can put the whole document in all lowercase letters just for the sake of uniformity. Mm -hmm. Also, highlight the whole thing. Go ahead and highlight the whole document, and then I'll show you how to do that in one click. Yeah. Oh, wow. It saved yeah. me some work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to, the top, to the bottom. Save me some work. I do it all. <laughs> that too. Yeah. All okay. right. Now, so go back to the top. It's right there. Mm -hmm. you see that little A. It's yeah. Right there. Up top. No, that not that one. Up. Yeah. Oh, right there. Now click it. Now make yes. And now all lowercase. See the lower. Click lower. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, there you are. Oh, good. No, brother Nathan. You know about you know about all this, brother. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> um, Justice uh, Justice Earl, the word upon, if you would remove that word yeah. as well, and just state um, and let's see, and the United States Constitution and the honor of our ancestors. Oh, yeah, right yeah, down at the bottom. Uh, okay, so. So and, are we talking uh, about this one right here, this and here? Yeah, okay. Uh, and we want to do what now? No, Go ahead. no, no. You can you can leave that and uh it was the and the honor of our mm -hmm. ancestors. Yeah. You have the word my there. And and then throughout the document there is uh eyes and my. At the beginning of each one of the sentences, I I think you already changed it though. Um, yeah, we just changed it. Okay. We just changed it. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. I think the top of the document yeah. still had some yeah, capitalization I did, I did. up there. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Because uh, they know the truth. We're going to go all the way to the top, you mean? Yeah, uh, and the court action mm -hmm. language, rather. The court action language still has some okay. some capitalized okay. letters. And then Let's just do that number again. The word exhibit. Okay. Let's go back up here and find this little A. It's on which program is that? This is Word. Yeah, Windows Word. Mm -hmm. Microsoft Word, I mean. Mm -hmm. um, up at the top this says exhibit D above the court action language. If you, know, you can you can just remove that as well. And and exactly. Enter up a couple of lines just to kind of bring things together in terms of formatting. Yeah, backspace. No, 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 no. 
do backspace. So it's close the gap. That, you want to bring that track wrap up? Yes, yeah, close the gap. Yeah. You have to go back to where your cursor was. No. Yeah, we go. There we are. There we are. Yep. Yeah, you got a delay. Um, also, yes, delay. you may want to put the date of the court action and the court action number. The court action number can be the date as well. It can be the date with, uh, yeah, it can be the date. We can make it, uh, let's see what. Uh, so it would be 2024. It, it will make it a, a civic date, a civic date. 2024, April. Mm -hmm. Let's do April 8th. Let's, let's, let's date it to April 8th because that was the day that um, the activity was enacted. Okay. And then the court action number is 2024. Uh, you can either say that April is the second month, or you can say that it's the fourth month. But since we're using since we're using Greco-Roman civic calendar, the court action number is two zero two four zero four zero eight two zero two four zero four zero eight. And the front, you should put UN. Uh, cause for action. Calls by action and then pay UN. United Nations. Yeah. Or United Nations. Spell it out. Uh, so you could say International United, United Nations. Nations. You could put that in front of calls for action. United Nations calls for action. Yeah. So we don't agree with it. Yeah. And then put it in capital diminutio minima. Yeah, low, low, low. No, capital lowercase. Excuse me. You mean capital? Yeah. Here we go. And it can be a capital N. Uh, yeah, it should actually be a capital U and a capital N. Mm hmm Proper, proper nouns. There we are. Cause for action. To the case should be yeah. There we go. Lower. Oh, there we are. Um. One other thing. What we'll do is we'll reference a United Nations. Um. We'll reference the. We can pick any one of the United Nations documents to support and just pull one uh, code out of it and elevate that code to the law here. So we can look at any of the resolutions. We can look at the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. Uh, we can look at any of that and, and restate, restate that code and put it at just under what you're stating there, Justice Earl. Because again, this is a yeah. And so you would say United Nations Declaration on the rights of indigenous uh, on the rights for indigenous people. Declaration on the rights for. on the rights for indigenous people. Uh, take that one of the fours out. You have a, a, a four declaration on the right for indigenous people. So the word for should be in front of the word right. Dec United Nations Declaration on the let's get this out on the right for uh, 
indigenous people. <sighs> Let me see what I can remember from that. The one, the 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 article that is probably most basic and most applicable would probably be the first article. Well, that no, that would be the Declaration on the on Human Rights. The first article for that one says that everyone has a right to a name and nationality, but that's still going back to to who she is. So the Declaration on the Rights for Indigenous People, let me just really quickly quote uh, the proper article for that. Again, we're sticking with identity. Want, um, Article 4, Indigenous Article. people have, uh, in exercising their right to self-determination, have the right to autonomy and self-government in matters relating to their international and local affairs, as well as ways and means for financing their autonomous functions. Okay. We we really um, we part Article One Part Five says every indiv indigenous individual has the right to a nationality. Um, we want to stick with identity. We okay. what you stated was good. If we're talking subject matter, we want to stick with identity. And we're actually going to restate that also. This one here, uh, everyone has a right, because she's not everyone. There's a difference between the common people and the nobility. That's why we ha this had to be restated. So we would state that um, every original, every ancient original indigenous noble has a right to her nationality. Right they, to uh, what's the, what was that to, before original for nationality? Original, indigenous, sovereign, ancient, divine people. Okay. I I, I was uh, distracted. Okay. To, uh, Okay, no no worries. I I'm I'm actually wording it as I speak. Okay, formulate. Okay. Um every ancient original indigenous natural divine T U R A L N-A-T-U-R-A-L, natural, divine, matriarch. Let's just make it what it is. Has a right to her nationality. Has the right. Yes, matriarch has the right to her nationality. Can you put T H T E the the 
What was that? I'm sorry. Two E's for D. Islam. Yes, indeed. The right to her nationality. The right to her appellation and her nationality. See again, we're elevating this above the of above their pay grade because it has to be up there. How about royal national royal appellation? Uh what's the definition of royal? Would you like look to pull it up Please. out of there <laughs> uh, out of out of the uh, dictionary or or from self? <laughs> Uh, of royal bloodline uh, of the original people or primordial people. Royal. It says, adjective, having the status of a king or queen, a member of their family, and then noun, informal, a member of a royal family, especially in England. And that's the definition of royal. Dictionary comes from Oxford languages. Could we say noble instead of royal, Empress Nabi? I agree. Noble. Yes, yes. Oh. That's divine. <laughs> yes, indeed. And that's the difference between noble and royal is no, and they because they've been trying to make it seem like royalty is is above nobility. It's not. It's mm -hmm. not. Yeah. We it's actually long. appoint them. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the nobles long. of the land that appoint. Even in yeah. from 12th century historians say that. Yes. Um, Nobility is the highest in the land. Of course. They always say one of the nobles. That's even in the Biblio. Mm -hmm. The word nobles, they always talk about princes and nobles. So uh, her noble nationality. Uh, I think that that's appropriate because Again, we're not getting into subject matter throughout the whole document. All we're doing is governments and nations are stating we recognize one of our own, and, and she is who she is. Plain and simple and straight to the point. Mm -hmm. And then she has, to be, she has to be free. She is free. So release the body. That's what that's saying. Release the body. The head is gone and blit the people. Release the body. And that's what it is. And, 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 yeah, so here we put the law on the public record. Mm -hmm. Public Earl, mm -hmm. can you select that whole yeah. court action piece? I just want to do one thing select the whole court action piece and then go. Uh, up there to the top where at paragraph and yeah right uh, to the right of where your cursor is go right one two three four keep going mm -hmm. stop yeah, right there stop right there and hit that button mm -hmm. thank you make it streamlined yeah okay cleaning it up yeah there we are so should you take out your appellation here I am, and put the we, we are sovereign living justices yeah. at earth. Yeah. In Capit. Yeah. In Musho Nolo. That's how we do ours, too. If we, like, I, I, I don't put Light or Pauline in there when we're talking, when we're speaking as one. I just state that we all are. So. You're saying where I is put we? You said which? I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, put we because the the court action is coming from all of us instead of just you, noble Earl. <laughs> because we're all together with you. Yes. So if you could remove Earl Julian Lloyd L from there and put and no, not there. From there, keep keep, keep that. Oh yeah, do that. yeah. You're that. doing the right thing. That's correct yeah. too. We. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's correct too. So we're gonna bring I, that I in. Just, yeah, I was just referring to the court action. 
part. Okay. Beautiful. I'm coming up that way. Even better. When you say we, they said that's the language of the sovereign. It is. It really is. That's what, And right there, uh, yeah. That's why we do it, you know, all the time, uh, because even when we're talking about ourselves, ourselves is still a we, because all of our ancestors are, are in us, you know, so... Oh, yes, okay. um, right there where it says for the record Earl Julian Lloyd L and all more you could take out Earl Julian Lloyd L and put for the record all living nations are a natural people all living nations are a natural people the line is uh, that's underneath the the first paragraph. It's the second paragraph of the court action language. Okay. So go it's down. Okay. So take my name out. Just in all moors. Yes, in in both of those court action paragraphs. Although you will, where your appellation will be, will be at the bottom because you're going to uh, autograph it. Mm-hmm. So they they still know that it's coming from the chief justices. Um, what did you state, Empress Light, stating that we living? What did you say? Um, right there, that second sentence should be: "We are the sovereign living justices." And, and I can you take can take her all out. Yes, you can take it out there also. Um, you can even take out all more there. We are sovereign living justice in capitis diminutio nolo. And then um, there you have my free chosen national appellation. You can remove that as well. The whole sentence. Yeah. Um, and then below that, down at the at that second paragraph. All Moors are a natural people. For the record, all Moors are the natural people. Uh, after the word are. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Prophet Noble Jurali said we were going to need 16 secretaries. We're going to try and get you one real soon, Noble <laughs> <laughs> I Look, look, look. I've been asking for one. I, look, I, I was telling somebody else and said, we need secretaries. <laughs> Brother Nathan, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> I'm like, how much right now? I, I don't claim no, look, look, I don't claim no expertise in this thing. I'm doing great. You're doing a great job. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, right there. Uh, it, ooh, 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 ooh. Um, for the record, all Moors are the natural people uh, with full life. With full. With full life instead of in full life. And then right there, that next sentence. We, Earl, Lloyd, that one? Mm-mm, the next sentence after... after I'm a my, started with my. Yeah. Our. It's our nationality, and please remove the word citizenship from there. Is 
Moorish American, and, and also you could put Al Moroccan after Moorish American. Just to, you know, just to, I don't know why I feel the, the, the unction to do that, but it keeps the peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Islam, I'm glad you stated that because uh, Noble Earl and I found a video that was kind of controversial about that very fact. Probably from Impact. It was probably yeah. from Impact. Oh, yeah. 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 Match that up to see what you what your thoughts were. We just we're gonna keep the peace and keep moving. Yeah. <laughs> that part. That's it. Right. Lowercase no, the A. Please, we, the we A from America. We do, and we're not going to sit and squabble over, you know, if that's important, so let's put it in there. Hey. It's addiction. Um, can you lowercase the A in American? I'm Islam sorry. and then the AB, and I would remove the AB. Yeah. And put You're original. talking about this? Yes, okay, lowercase the, the A in, okay. yes, remove AB. And then lowercase the A in American. Yeah. And uh, being sovereign. Original indigenous instead of original and indigenous. Yes, I there's like no that. and. Are we on a delay? Probably not. Uh, did you want to remove the word and between original and indigenous, Justice Earl? And original and indigenous. Yes, it can be. Either way. Yeah. Original and indigenous, sovereign, national, and heir for the Moroccan Empire. Uh, at Northwest A Maxim, and and that with that forward slash, you can just put a common there. Um, and uh, we're not. And this last part is the part that my red flag just flew up in the air. Um, when you said a, a foreign national at corporate Lexington. Mm hmm. Yeah, you can just we are. yeah, that's good right there. Just now you have to lowercase those two A's because they they like to do that. They show up on you, don't they? Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Un 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 un. We don't need that in chief justice. Where is that? Uh, that be it? Oh, uh, we Earl Lloyd L F E N chief justice. You don't need that. I see it. Yeah. Either sovereign living justices. Uh, you could actually take that whole sentence out simply because the next word is affidavit, and then you know we go into those things. So, yeah. Okay. Backspace again, please. Oh, there we go. One more time. There we are. And then now center. There we are. You know, as we're doing this, what came to mind what Taj was saying on his last address? He was talking about unity. This, this right here is a part of the reversion of the state because we're taking back our state uh, appellations, our state, everything with this document right here. We done took back the United Nations by doing this, too. That's yeah. a reversion of that estate because they was claiming to be United Nations. But then we just did a document that just it's overshot. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All it takes is for us to just do it. And once we do it, yeah. it's a <laughs> And once we notify them according, according to the, the maximum <laughs> of work, once we notify them according to the maximum law and they're mute, that's automatic um, reversion of the estate. Mm. Oh, so true. Go, brother. Go, brother. So true. Yeah. And that's why when in those state courts, they used to mute the perk whoever was sitting there and, and have somebody, some quote-unquote acting attorney speaking for them. Mm -hmm. 
They were yeah, reversing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were, they were reversing the and acting out still in the state. Yeah, that's how they was doing it. <laughs> Craziness. Yeah, theatrics. Yeah, all theater. Well, we call them on that theatric stuff. <laughs> you give them the definition of actor and then show their picture. <laughs> Thank you for clearing that up down there, Justice Earl, because it says something about non-subject, non-resident. You can you can really just and there's a couple of um there's a couple of minus signs in there. Some people call them hyphens. Islam and and remove the ab. Either you can remove the ab original or you can just separate it because that the word ab is actually a whole word. It's not just a prefix. That's the difference between the two. It's a it's a, it's an actual word instead of a prefix. Right, because we have and abs in our body. <laughs> Short for abdominal. Yeah. <laughs> and and even the word abdominal, we could go on into how that means from the dome. Our mm. our 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 cause see our stomachs and our wounds are there. Right. In that in that area. Abdomen. Exactly. Or abdomen. Mm. Cause that's where men come from. And and too, huh? <laughs> 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 Lord of mercy. Indeed, indeed Islam. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and so. <laughs> so, uh, do we have Empress Shasha? Hmm. Have we assisted competently? Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So we'll get this uh, finalized and uh, sent out to oh. where it needs to go. Islam. Um, Did we see the autograph part? And Did we see the autograph part, the bottom, bottom? Let's go down. There we go. Um, you got to click and double click. Because you're right now and you're the you're the header and the footer mode. Yeah. You got to double yeah. click out of it. Yeah, double click. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, can you put an extra, uh, uh, no, don't put an extra X. Put the word Instead of executed, if you could change that word to ex- executored. Executored is really what the word is. Right there on the date, right there on the chronos, executored. Just add O R E D. Executored this day. This uh and actually what we would state is executor on 2024 April 10th not pro tunk uh you can just you, the the lines don't necessarily need to be there uh and the year should go first this 2024 This yeah this this 2024 Anno Dominion 2024 Anno which is A N N O space D O M I N I Anno Dominion I O N N E Anno Dominion comma April eighth. Is 
April 8th, yeah. Nunk, uh, nunk Pro Tunk. Or April 10th, rather, Nunk Pro Tunk, which will include April 8th. Yeah, it's April 8th. Right, that's correct, Empress. I apologize. April 8th, Nunk Pro Tunk. And then yeah. if you put the word affiant, remove that word, and put Chief Justice. comma, court clerk. It's going to get rid of the double. Yeah, yeah. Uh, court clerk and public notary. If you choose, if you feel that that's appropriate. That's fine. And then all rights exercised at all times. That's another. And demonstrated. Yes, mm-hmm. exercise and demonstrate it. Most we had an extreme long conversation about demonstration today mm-hmm. and public. Yeah. And we went into etymology on demonstrate and public, and they cognitively have been understood, but we went denotatively on those words and then got the true proper meaning, and then it gives different definitions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was suggested fun. after notary? Uh, pu- uh, that's 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 it right there. Oh, all rights exercised at all times, all sovereign rights exercised, or actually all sovereign rights demonstrated at all times. <laughs> no. Yeah. You and that other. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Mhm. Yeah. Demonstrate. Mhm. Yeah, we have two strong minds over there. <laughs> there we are. In the Islam. Did I get that right? Did get that right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah the, the G and the N could be uh, transposed. Switch. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's from. That's but again, it's, it's ancient English. You can spell it yeah. however you <laughs> Right. Because <laughs> ancient okay. English comes so, from the heart. <laughs> There's this second mm-hmm. line. What was it for before? We don't really need it, do we? No. No, no. Um, okay. And so we will all get a copy and then we will all autograph it and then put yeah, it all. Make sales on that. It's, it if you can, it's not necessary because once no. he signs it, because we've agreed publicly on the public record, this is being recorded. Yes. Okay. So, so he can go ahead and just autograph it, and you know, seal it with his right red thumbprint. And if he has seals, seal it and send it on. Okay. Okay. And then, what we'll do, is everyone okay with uh, posting this on YouTube as a public record? Or okay. Islam, I'll firm. Rashid is our little baby in your territory. I'll firm. <laughs> Islam, Islam Angelica Vint out today in New York Territory. Manawatu Chief Justice. I affirm. I affirm. Islam A G Nine Day Mahad L via territory. I affirm. Islam. And state your government as well, Empress Nabi. State your government as well, Empress Nabi. This is the United Nations. I am that I am nation. Okay. We affirm. We affirm. Nawe. Um, Empress Nawe and Elisa, New Year's Rio Bay, and when we uh, territory government, I affirm. Islam. Chief Justice Pauline Denise Ritchie, my free chosen sovereign appellation is Light Tajiri Bay, Moorish National Republic Federal Government, I affirm. Islam. Islam. Chief Justice Earl Julian L. L. Lloyd, and I affirm from Krypton Territory Land of Tomorrow. Islam, Islam. Uh, mm-hmm. the sovereign government, I thank you so much. Empress Angel, thank you for reaching out and connecting with the government and uh, getting this done in favor of not just Empress Shasha, but our, all of our governments together as well. For this, we're grateful. Yes. This is 
This is monumental. Indeed. Beautiful. Thank so, you all for your assistance. Thank you too, nobility. We know that 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 the the ministry or clerical work is 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 not necessarily your 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 ministry because you have so you have clerks coming. But so we thank you for reaching outside of your comfort zone. <laughs> Yes, and getting it exactly. and having it accomplished. I said, she's got me, she's got me doing this for rock box. <laughs> yes, you will be made strong in, in all that you do. In the Islam. We've all been called outside of our comfort zones to do things. I know that's, you know, for sure. Uh, and we always manage to 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 just reach the moon on those things. Absolutely. If there be nothing further regarding Infrashasha, uh, we will go ahead and adjourn that portion of the Congress of this of this United Nations meeting. Mm, it's long. It's long. Islam, peace and grand rising. Oh, but well, we're going to go into the next session, right? We we will. Uh, uh, are we recording the next session? We don't have to. We, don't have to. Okay. Well, we can end this one and record it again. <laughs> uh,